Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to see the way to create a multi module. A multi module project is a project with nested sub modules. Now, if you want to work on multi module project, prerequisite is we need to have either Eclipse or STS. A multi module project can be created in two ways one is through Maven and one is through Grad. In our demonstration, we are going to use Maven for creating multi module project. Now, let's go here. This is my Eclipse, and this is the architecture which I am going to follow. Now, as we said, a multi module project is a project with nested sub modules here. You can see, Cords is one module, Money is one module, and same way, Wallet is one other sub module. All these th three sub modules are also called as projects. Chain projects and this will act as a parent project. In the case of multi module project, you will have one parent project and you can have as many chain projects. There is no restriction on number of chain projects and all chain projects will be under the control of parent project. Right now, let us replicate the same thing in the case of Eclipse. Now, let's go back again to the Eclipse and let's click on File menu and let's go to New and let's go to Other. Other and let's search for Marvel. And I'm selecting Marvel project now. And let me click on next. Again, click on next button. And our target is Marvel. Right? Now let's search for com dot. Okay, as it is Oracle, it is not com or dot Apache dot Marvel. Just Filter this group ID. So many group IDs you can see, but our target is we are going to deal with Marvin, right? Our target is Marvin token. That's the reason I had given here r.apache.mav. Now let me scroll down here and you can see their quick start. Now I am creating a Marvin quick start project which will act as parent here. Now I selected quick start and I am going to click on next button and I am going to use some group ID here. And my group ID is com.parent and the artifact is let me write here Marvel parent and version remains same here and version remains same here and let me click on finish and my project is about to create here yeah it was created on the left hand side let me click on this and let me open my form.exam Now, if you see, you can see your group ID in your form.xml and you can also see artifact ID and you can also see version. But keep in your mind that when we deal with the moment parent, always packaging should be form. Always we will see need to select packaging as form. I selected form now and I am going to save my project. See, it is taking some time for downloading the dependencies. Now, once if this project creation is done, let's see how to create a course module and a money module and a wallet module. Right? Now, we are having three steps now. One is card creation, one is money creation, one is wallet creation. Now, let me minimize this one. And it is taking some time. Let's wait. Yes, my project creation is done successfully on the left hand side. You can see JRE was added here, Mount dependencies were also added, and POM is also added. SRC main Java is also there. Now let's wait for a few more minutes.
let me cancel the request tooling it is taking so much time let me cancel this yes it was done there is some delay in my laptop done my parent project got created now now let us create one more project let me go to other again and let me go to go with the picture and if you see your architecture we need to create one more module with the name cards now this time what i am going to do is i am going to file go to new go to other and search for maven this time we are going to add module you can see the option called as maven module now let me select as maven module let me click on next and my module name is cards my module name is cards and let me click on next and as usual we need to go with Org dot Apache dot Maven, and you can select your artifact here. I am selecting as a quick start, and I am going to click on next. And as is well, your group ID. If you see, I am going to make it as cards. and let me click on finish now let me click on form.xml again form.xml of parent and under parent you can see multiple multiple options under form.xml now let me go to form.xml tab over here and under this if you scroll down you can see one option called as modules you can see one option called as modules right my course module got added here now similar way let me add one more module also like this let me click on next and you can see here my parent project is maven project which we created previously now let me give the child project name as uh, money here and let me click on next again and let me search for my artifact here or dot apache dot maven as usual previously we created a quick start project right now let us create a web project for cars when would we say sub modules a sub module can be a jar project or it can be a web application or it can be an enterprise level application. now i selected web app now let me click on next after selecting web app and my module name is com dot money and let me click on finish again and let me reopen my parent com dot xml and let me go to com dot xml tab under that. let me scroll to the bottom now you can see a new module got added here now let us create one more module now let me click on maven module and let me name it as wallet as per the architecture we are having wallet here and you can see the parent project as maven project and now let me click on next button and as usual i am going to go with org dot apache dot maven and this time i am going to select quick start project again you can see quick start next and let me change my group id my group id is violet and let me click on finish 
now if you see the parent form dot xml file you can see your modules here whenever you created a new module that entry was added to parent form dot xml automatically now let me close this window now let us run this application now this is my parent project and this is these are chain projects here some people will call chain projects as chain modules don't get confused with the word chain modules are chain projects here you can see cards you can see money you can see wallet also three modules we are having and one parent project we are having right now let us run this project i am right click on my project and let me go to run as and let me go to maven beat and let me issue clean build all right now clean install apply and let me click on run and let me maximize the console part it is downloading the dependencies now we are trying to run a parent project whenever you run parent project automatically chain process will be activated and automatically your chain process will be executed now let's see what will happen here we ran our project using the goal clean install see so many dependencies are getting downloaded here perfect if you see the console here you can see your maven project your maven parent was running successfully same way your cars was running successfully and same way your money app is also running successfully and same way you can also see your wallet also see at a time you are able to run all chain projects along with the parent project at any time you can unplug these modules and at any time you can add a new module to the existing project right spring boot by default follows multi module project creations now let's go to the chain form.xml file also let's take chain form.xml file also let me go to cars form.xml let me go to the last tab here form.xml and you can see here you can see a new tag with the name parent whenever you are creating a sub module you sub, sub module with multi module project creation what will happen is in your chain project form.xml you can see an entry for parent tag you can see a parent tag here and you can see artifact id group id and version id right even in these chains of if you take money money is also a chain right let me open form.xml of money and let me go to form.xml tab again and you can see an entry for parent again right same way for wallet also Let's go to the wallet and let me open form.xml and let us see whether the parent is there or not. Yes, parent is available. In this way, we can create a multi-module project in the case of Eclipse. Same rules are applicable even for Spring STS also. Right? I hope you got some basic idea about multi-module project creation. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my video. Thank you.